Come on up, guys. Let's hear your arguments. God's imaginary. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Your God ain't real. A couple more people. By the way, everybody subscribe to my YouTube link in bio. I got lots. Of, I'm going to post my science live that I did today. If you missed it, I did a science live today. I'm going to post it on YouTube tomorrow. Um, so go subscribe to my YouTube link in bio, by the way. Hello? Yeah, what's your, uh, how old are you? 37. Oh yeah, okay, uh, what, what's your argument today? The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John knew Jesus. Therefore, they wrote about him. The Bible's based off of eyewitnesses. Okay, do you know that, that every biblical scholar that I have ever heard of that's reputable rejects that notion? That the scholar? Gospels were not eyewitness accounts. Which scholar? Bart Ehrman. Like, so this is like most scholars, right? Like, there's no evidence that the Gospels were eyewitness accounts. There's no way that Christianity gets take, that gets off the ground if Jesus never resurrected from the cross. There's no yeah, way. That's, that's why I'm not a Christian, because there's no evidence that Jesus resurrected like a, like a zombie. No, but he did, or else there's no way. It, it's, it explodes like the way it did. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Just because you don't... Just because you want Jesus to be God doesn't mean he is. Sometimes the universe doesn't have to follow your wants or expectations. If Jesus didn't resurrect, he wouldn't be God. He's got to be God. Hey, what do, you, what do you got? Hey, how are you? Um, so I, I understand your point, but I'm trying to reconcile the things that I've personally experienced in my life. So I had a daughter who um, went into acute respiratory failure, got put on ECMO, which I don't know if you know anything about ECMO. Um, when you get put on a respirator and you're still failing, there's like a last ditch effort that they can try called ECMO, right? Can you hear me? Unfortunately, um, <laughs> this is my this is my first time being live. So right. when I had this experience, the, you know, this experience with my daughter, she was three years old. Um, there was no other God that I was praying to than Jesus. And when I put my hand on her and I said, you have no power here, get out in the name of Jesus. At the exact moment that I said it, black stuff came out of her nose. I have a picture of it. There have to be two nurses within a foot of the bed at all times when your child's on ECMO. Okay, so do you know that black stuff can be blood, right? Can it? Okay, so then why, when the exact moment I said it, did the black stuff start coming out of her nose? Coincidence? Coincidence. Okay, so what about the coincidence of I was in the waiting room when she got put on ECMO. She coded. I was not in the waiting room. I didn't have any way to know that. But I felt it in my body, and I began to pray to God in the waiting room with my husband. And then a piece came over our room in the waiting room, and there was a nurse inside where my daughter was being put in ECMO when she coded who didn't know me and I didn't know her and I didn't meet her until the seventh day, right? She said she was there when my daughter coded. All of a sudden, a piece came over the room and they got her back at the exact same moment. So okay. two coincidences. Yeah, right? uh, so first of all, I'm very, first of all, hold on. I'm very sympathetic to your situation. I think that I'm happy that your daughter made it. I'm happy. Is she healthy? She is today, yes. Good, I'm, I'm happy. now. Problem is, there is no way to determine that what you've experienced was anything other than coincidence. Unfortunately speaking, I'm sorry, 
Okay, it's I will give you that. No, I will give you that. But that I have but, but, two. But hold on, hold on, hold on. But but more importantly, here there mm -hmm. are people that pray in hospitals, but their babies die. So the same God you pray to, right? So unfortunately, not only do we not have evidence that what you said is true, but we have evidence to counter what you've said is true. Correct. Because if I've you're been on the opposite prayers, side of that as well. Great. So how do we know that what you have experienced is actually God helping you and not just something natural that you just can't explain? Well, because that was two coincidences. Let's think of this scientifically. I have two coincidences for me. Then I came home from the hospital and I began to research other people's coincidences. The numerical numbers in the Bible, you'll find sevens, you'll find 45s, you'll find fives, consistently related to miracles. You can yeah, go and research you know, it, you know right? That's what means. Do you know what scientific means? Go ahead. Tell scientific, me you. scientific means a rigorous experimentational process where you're mm -hmm. where you're falsifying things right determining if they're true or not taking a look at a biblical fairy tale and looking at numbers and vaguely correlating numbers to things you believe preconceived sure. that is sure. not scientific at all sure. so i'm sorry you know, going off of personal accounts of thousands of human beings has absolutely no weight ma'am millions of people have hallucinations in the world, even normal, healthy people, 10% of the population have hallucinations. You're telling me just because a few thousand people experience something they can't explain, that means that they're right. I'm sorry, but there are way better explanations. Do they than have the same God. hallucinations? Do they have the exact same hallucinations? They have. No, they don't. Yeah, they, they, no, yes. they don't. The, people these people have, are praying to the oh, exact oh same God God. who comes through the exact same yeah. way, in the exact same numbers. Man, there are people who have per, uh, sleep paralysis where yes. they see Demo and hear I believe things. that's demonic. And my daughter, are... I, I've had I've had that where I've talked to people about that. Okay, so this is the problem. You presuppose that these sleep paralysis episodes are demonic. That's the problem. That is wow. not scientific. Why see, is that the problem? Because you're you're just presupposing God. You're not and allowing you're, for other you're, natural. And you're you're saying that there's not one. We're on the, you're on the opposite. No, end. no, I'm not you even have no saying proof no. Either. I'm not saying there's no God. I'm saying <laughs> that there's no reason to believe in a God. That's a big difference. Oh, there's more, a big reason to believe in a God. There's a big what, reason. What's, what's the good reason? Okay, the reason why you should believe in my God is because there is no other way than Jesus to account for it all. There's no other way. Show me that. There demonstrate. More demonstrate. There demonstrate. Is more Hold on, ma'am. Ma ma'am. Ma'am. Demonstrate yes. to me that there is no other explanation except for your magic man. I'm trying. Go. I'm trying. Let's hear it. How many near death experiences have you and have you looked into? You shrug them off, but we our government just said there's aliens. Come we on. We have documented thousands of near-death experiences, none of which need a God. But all of which have one. No, you're presupposing God. This is the problem. You're not getting it. You're presupposing God is helping you. We have no evidence to believe so, and we have ulterior no, explanations. You have no evidence to believe so. I do. No, I do have evidence, evidence to believe, though, evidence. because my God came through for me. I'm man, sorry that you don't. Man, do you know what evidence? Hold on, seek, hold on, hold on. Seek man, and you man, will man, find. Man, seek and man. you will find. Ma'am, do you know what evidence means? What? What, what, do does evidence evidence, mean? what, what do you think evidence means to you? Let's evidence to me is my child dying before my face, me no, crying no, 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 out no, no, no. and praying evidence, ma'am. My evidence. evidence is the nurses and the doctors who were in the room and saw it happen oh. coming to her baptism okay. because it affected. Evidence is the data or facts that point to a specific conclusion over another. That's evidence. Evidence is falsifiable, verifiable, repeatable. I can test the evidence to verify that what you've claimed is true or not. We can't do that when you say that God saved my baby. I know you want to believe that. And look how appealing it is to believe this, that there's somebody out there saving you. But how about all the other millions of people out there who babies, whose babies are not saved? 
by their God that they believe the same one you do. The problem is you want it to be God. I feel as if you're, I suspect that you want God to be the answer. So you discount all the other possibilities and say, it must be this. We need more reason than just trust me, bro. We need more than that. So please give an evidence-based argument or go away. You win. Good evening. You win. I no longer. I'm no, no. I'm no longer interested in proving to you that God is real. <laughs> you win. Ma'am, you can't even give evidence of God, let alone prove it. You're far well, as I, away. I can't. I can't for you. I can't for you. But I can tell you this: if you seek Him. And if you apply biblical principles, okay. you will not be able to prove right. me wrong. But God. you won't do it because right. you're afraid. Let's do it, let's do it now. Do it I'm, I'm, let's afraid. do it now. Let's do what you did before at the hospital. Yeah. Let's do it. God, save. I have a pain in my neck here. Let's let's save the pain in the neck. God, make the pain in my neck go away. In the name of Jesus. still there um, did it work it didn't work ma'am i'm sorry you're so smart mike the experiment failed <laughs> you're so smart mike mayday mayday where's where god see this god. is the problem you can't falsify what you've done you can't you, you, can't you didn't do the work that i did you didn't do the work that i did internally you didn't oh, go well, to the place that i went you have not been there and you can't do it without seeking and how you won't do that wait, because wait, wait, you wait, believe wait, you know wait, everything wait, 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 about how, the universe how do you and know? The world, so you won't how, humble yourself how do enough you know, to seek ma'am how do you know what i've been through have you have you how, I've have been you been through that do you have a child that you watched I, come out from the dead have you no but i have exactly. gone through many obstacles in my life that i've gotten what'd you through go through mike what'd you go through Many obstacles that I've gone let's, through. Let's let's life. let's let's go through the obstacles, Mike. This is not a Oprah. This is not Dr. Phil, ma'am. Yeah. This is because you haven't been where I've been. You haven't gone where I've gone. Stage. You don't know what it's like. And when you get this there, you'll remember stage. me, Mike. When you get there, you'll oh, remember me. Oh, okay. I promise so you that you'll remember me when you get there. You're gonna face it, and you're gonna remember me. How do you know I that? I promise you. How do you know before that? You die, oh, before you die, before you die, you'll remember me. Is it is it a picky promise? A pinky promise. Yes. Okay. Pinky. That, that'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. <sighs> Unfortunately, we found a case of someone who's scared and wants a God to exist. I understand that, but there's no, there's just no good reason to believe in such a thing. Okay. So with this, has science ever concreted something and said that it was facts have been taken aback? Science. Science. Okay. So I've been agreed scientifically. So let, 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 let me explain here. Let me explain. Yeah. Science is a method to truth. Okay. It's not perfect. Oh. Now the results that we get in science are only as good as the data we achieve and the experiments mm -hmm. we do and okay. the people who do them. Mm -hmm. So sometimes within the scientific process, there can be mistakes or errors that occur. Hence, the results can be mistaken or wrong. But embedded within science is a self-improving mechanism called falsification, where we test our ideas and we make sure if they're true or not. So although science might not have all the answers or be the best method, it fucking works better than any method that we know of. It so works until it's if, proven so that if it you think work. that science doesn't work, give me a better method than science. God. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Great. God. So how do we do God? What's the method for God? Pray? Not just prayer. First, the first thing you need to do to uh, do God is humble yourself. And that's the part that people... Oh, make the one who thinks the universe was made for them is calling me to humble myself. I'm sorry, ma'am. So let, me put, it this way. Yourself. let me put it this way. In the end, you are exalted. In the end, you are lifted up. In the end, you are 
put in heavenly places, but you get there yeah. in the first place. Do you have That's any evidence for your magic La La Land? Or not? My life is evidence. The, the lives of people around me, the lives of people around okay. the world. How is your life evidence of a God? You can watch the story on my, on my, on my, um, th th there's too many stories. You're just going to say what you said. Falsifiable stories. You're, no, but this is my point. You keep on saying falsifiable stories, but at the end of the day, science is taken as fact until it's proven and, and until it's disproven. So everything you say, when you try to say anything against people's life stories, where they have experienced things. When you try to come against that, it doesn't make sense because you are basing it off science, which everyone agrees that this is a fact until someone comes out with a new theory, which disproves that. And then that yeah, is that's the beauty of science, ma'am. The so beauty of science, the beauty of science is that we're always improving and getting better. We're always learning. We don't have all the answers, but that that's the exact issue with religion. Religion pretends to have all the answers and provides no methodology to get there. It just pretends they have the truth. That's the issue. The problem is that you have a belief that never changes. That's the issue. You're never going to change. That's the issue. But do you realize for that, that reason, you'll always be blowing incorrect. In the wind. You'll always be wrong. You're blowing in the wind. Then give me if evidence that I'm incorrect. For anything, then give the evidence that God's everything. real. And that's what you do with science. When you say I'm based off of science, science doesn't even stick to science. What's Science doesn't stick to science. It doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> G'day. Hey, what do you got? I believe uh, God is imaginary. I, I do a, like, I do agree with you. I also believe God is dreaming. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's your argument? Um, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go face to face with, face to face with you. All right, so, well, your your whole excuse was, um. To that lady last time, right? Wait, what's going on with the camera here? All right. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, so your whole argument last time with that lady is, prove me wrong, right? Prove that he exists. Prove, prove science. Science is not a belief; it's a method. We do science. Okay. No, 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 no. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a, a lot of it is, is theory, right? And if you know what theory is. Do, do you, you know, know what that, do you know what a scientific theory is? You yeah, no no I know I know what a theory is. What's a scientific theory? No 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 I know what it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's scientific it doesn't matter oh, if it's religious. Oh it does theory. it does. My no, no 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 a it theory does. a theory is something that isn't proven. No. Right? In yes. science yes. in science a theory yes. a scientific theory is an yes. explanation for a fact it's the mechanism for a fact. For a fact, for a fact. Yes, it's a mechanism. It's the explanation. It's the how. It's the how. So now, so now, now that you know the definition there, of a scientific there is theory, no, there is no fact. There is no fact in a theory. Yes, theories are built on facts. Theory, theory is theories are built a trial, on facts. Trial, sir. No, no. A scientific sir. theory is built sir. upon facts and laws and data and evidence. Now, what is your argument evidence, here? Evidence, what your, evidence, what, what is that? What, based on what? What's the evidence? Observations. And the, and the theory. Data. Observations. Yes. There everything. is no evidence. And there, there's no evidence. There's no evidence. There's no, in, there's no evidence in observation of the empirical world? No, I mean, I mean, you, there's, I think it's, um, what's the word? It's, you know, to each their own, right? So it's. It's very yeah. No, sir. Yeah, it's science. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's the it's the each uh, their own. It's subjective. Sure. Yes. No, science is yes. not subjective. Science is based on empirical observations yes. that we can falsify yes. and test and verify to be true or not. And theories are the mechanisms for the facts. So again, what is your argument that God exists? What What is your argument that He doesn't exist? 
Sure. Do you think God is all good? Um, no, I believe he's just. So your God is not all good. He's a little bit evil. No, he's just. Is God all good or no? God, God is just. Is just good? Um, just is right. So your God is always morally right. Um, yeah, de depending on what your morals are. Oh my gosh. Are you a Christian? Yeah, I believe in Christ. Okay. So you believe that God is all good and all just. So then why is there so much I injustice? Believe, I believe. Why is there so much injustice and why is there so much evil in the world if God is all good free, and all just? Free will. Free will. Okay. Um, does, does God have free will? No, God's God. I mean, obviously, yes. God's a creator. Okay. Does God ever choose to do evil? Um, that's, I mean, that's, do you, do you know if he chooses to do evil? You believe this shit, sir, not me. You believe in science? No, I don't let believe me, in science. Ask, okay, science so, is a so, method. Okay, but let me ask, what, what do you, what is your beliefs? Like, where do you, how, how was life Here, created? Are, are you going to track, you asked me to disprove God. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to no, point no, no, out no, I'm not, like, why I'm your not, God no, I, I'm on the same page. I'm trying to, uh, okay, so let me get on the same page as you, right? So we understand each other, right? So you're on my page. What do you believe? How was, how was life created? Where did the, where did the start come from? It wasn't created. There was no start. Okay, well. Necessarily, so, we could have always existed okay, so or evolved what, so over what time. Happened? What happened? We evolved. Okay, so from what? From prior states. From, okay, states so states. where did the prior where did the prior states come from? They were always there. Okay, from how? So nothing comes from something, is what you're saying. Nothing comes from something. No, if it's if it's always there. It was yeah, always so, there. So no, yeah, it so, didn't come but nothing, from nothing, nothing never comes. Nothing never comes from something. So, like, what is your like? What happened? Like, what was? Sir, the are, you, are you listening? You're not listening. No, it's, no. Like, what hold, was the beginning? Hold, what, hold on, what's your, hold on. Was, Where's the scientific proof? What hold was the on. beginning for you? Hold on, sir. Listen carefully. No, I'm asking you, you to see. Like, a, okay, hold on. Ahead. I know you're Sorry. anxious. The universe could have always existed. You don't need a God or a start or a beginning. Do you agree? No, because nothing, okay, wait, nothing wait. doesn't. When have you ever sat there and, and something appeared out of nowhere? That's not, that's a, I never said it did. Okay. So, so then, then take me down your, like how, your logical explanation. Like it how does could this have always existed? How? Why not? It's a logical possibility. What was the what was the first you if you logic scientifically explain to me what was the first thing to ever exist? There was no such thing. It was always there. No, no. Why that not? That doesn't make any. That does not make any sense. Okay, pro, pro, then show me the logical contradiction there in an internal no, universe. Nothing. If I sat in my room right for how my entire life and I wanted something to appear in front of me. It's not going to happen because nothing does not come from some, something has to come from something. Okay, then where did God come from? I don't know. That's beyond our belief. <laughs> That's beyond our belief. But so, you so can't, you're say, you so can't you're saying, answer my, so, so, you can't so answer you're my saying, question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. my question. I sir, can answer yours because sir, I understand sir, I'm human. Sir, I understand I'm human. Sir, Why can't you, what, what was the first thing? What happened? What was before God? The Bi the Bible is the only thing that we have to go we have to go off. You have <laughs> no, science, no, but you can't no, explain. I assure, you cannot, no, sir, I no, no, assure you. I explain. assure you, it's not the only thing. What what is what what happened? See, this is why there's confusion here because he's coming into the debate with this preconceived notion that there's got to be a start, there's got to be a first thing, and this is the issue. He's not willing to concede that there's other possibilities like an eternal universe or a universe that has a cause, but wasn't caused by a God or something natural. 
we have many possibilities that don't include a God. That's the issue. But of course, the guest doesn't want to concede to that. See, he's stuck in his narrative. Hello. Uh, I'm not a native English speaker, so excuse my English. Um, like, I believe God is real because, like, there's history. My, my God, to be exact, like Rama, there's historically evidence that uh, they existed, but I don't believe they, they are still watching over us like Hey, how are you? Hey, what's your argument? I don't know. I want to ask you something. In as much as God is a beautiful concept, I, I, I like to see it through a, a psychological view, a bit like Jordan Peterson's lecture. You can't say he exists, but you can also not say that he doesn't exist. Oh, yes, we can. If you, if you say that God is a square circle, that can't exist. If you say that God is a married bachelor, that can't exist, right? There are some things that are logically not possible by definition. So according to your definition of God, if it is inconsistent, we can debunk it. We can disprove it. Now, I agree. I can't disprove um, a flying unicorn on Mars. I can't disprove that. But it doesn't mean, but, but when it comes to God, God is a much different thing than that. God is not even a coherent concept. There's no definition of God I've seen that is coherent. Where did logic come from? The mind, our minds. Hey. Hey, what do you got? I got uh, some facts that can actually support your side of the story. Hey, what do you got? Thank I got you. Uh, some facts that I can actually support. So where's your imaginary proof that God is imaginary? There's no evidence for God. There's no reason to believe Okay, that. so if you can't see God, you can't see... The same way you can't see God, the same way you can't see your brain. We can see... You can't brain. see your heart. We can. We know that... If you're thinking that's evidence of a brain, <clears throat> go watch Barney, kiddo. <laughs> oh, no, man. <laughs> Hi, how are you? What do you got? Um, do you believe in the Big Bang Theory? Yeah, do you know what the Big Bang is? Um, the idea behind it, as far as I know, is that there was basically an explosion and that created all of the planets like the no. no no please educate me i don't really want to it's your job to do okay. that for yourself man but more importantly right. do, do you have an argument for god or no <clears throat> no all i want to say is that if there was a big bang like nothing comes from nothing yeah we're not doing that there is no such thing as nothing right Guys, when you say something can't come from nothing, that's an incoherent statement to me. Because when you say nothing, I don't know what that means. I can't imagine nothing, absolute nothingness. Because if I imagine it, I'm imagining something. Empty space, dark space, that's still something. It might not be possible to conceive of nothingness. So that's why that argument's incoherent. And the Big Bang was not an explosion, it's an expansion of space-time. Vastly different. What's up, man? What do you got? So, I'm gonna come from an interesting angle. So, ex-Christian, you know, as of two years ago, and I definitely believe all your points on that just doesn't make sense. But I guess I wanted to ask, uh, do you believe in evolution? Yes, evolution's a fact. So, do you think that it's a 
very small, small, small percent chance that things would evolve to the place that we are right now. Chance compared to what? When you're saying chance, we don't know the chance of us being here versus another chance. All we know is that we exist in one universe. We only have one universe to compare and any, anything else to. We can't compare this universe to another one. So all we know, our, the chance of us being here could be 100%, one out of one. We can't assess the probability of us being here. So, I mean, in some sense, yes, you're correct. But there also are things that are like, we know from science that, uh, like, I believe that from science, we can show like, hey, our world is pretty jacked up, but it also has some, a lot of math behind it. And how those things came to be or the chances of that uh, is where people kind of get this idea that, hey, is it? It feels and it really seems like even from a scientific mathematical point of view that there was a very small chance of this happening because we deal with probabilities okay. in our world all well, the time. Well, well, whether or not the chance is small or big, who cares? What if there's a natural reason why? What if there's a naturalistic explanation for why we're rare or not rare? Why does it have to be that there's somebody making us rare? Why, does, right, why is there this. somebody doing it? I would say this. Would you... Would you be open to an idea that was not an, a god behind it, but there was something else? Like, you know, there's a whole simulation yeah, theory. There could be a whole range of naturalistic explanations, quantum fluctuations. There's, there's all things we don't know about the universe. How could you possibly sit there and say it must be God, right? Because it's so complex to me, therefore God. That is not a good argument. So you don't think that there – so you think that if – say it's not God, but say there's other beings that – are in okay, a whole what if there's a what if there's an, a, a big giant asshole out there that's made of assholes like I, this is what your this is what your argument is like okay great there's a big penis shaped sized dinosaur out there I, like who cares where's yeah. your evidence where's your evidence what is your evidence so I I'm actually on the side of and I won't hold too long I'm sure there's someone else better so I just wanted to get your thoughts on that my my next. Dickosaurus. Yo, can you hear me? What do you got? Um, get a job, contribute to society, and get off TikTok and stop arguing with people's religions. This is my job. I literally make more on TikTok than you'll probably ever make in your entire lifetime. Ah, you left? Okay. Hey, what do you got? I mean, it's your opinion, but like, yeah, it's just your opinion. Wow. Yeah, get off TikTok while I watch you on TikTok. I waited for an hour to get in here to talk to you. I'll slap my balls on your forehead. You're my son. Oh, your mom did that already for me. Thank You're you. my son. God isn't real. It's all bullshit. I agree. But have a good day. They're mad, right? They're so mad. Hey, what do you... Uh. Don't go! <laughs> keep tapping, keep tapping. Hey, God bless you, brother. How you doing? What's your argument for God? No argument. I just see that you put uh, God with a lowercase g. And when you put God with a lowercase g, oh. that, yeah, that means anything could be your God. It could oh. be money. It could be okay. money. It could be fame. It could be the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what's your argument for your God? Oh, no, I'm just saying uh, it needs to be a capital G. So you might have to end the live and change it, and then we Why? could have that. Is your God, God going to be offended? Your all-powerful God is going to be offended by a lowercase. God bless you, brother. God bless you. God bless you. Does just God so bless you. us when we're... Does, is God going to bless us? Is God going to bless Hitler, Mussolini, 
Saddam Hussein, is God going to bless dictators and murderers because they repented? I'm sorry, but that's not, that's not good or justice to me. The fact that I'm going to go to hell, according to you, but Hitler can be saved. Hi. That's ridiculous. Hi. Hey, what do you got? Uh, why do you think God is imaginary? Because there's no evidence for it. Do you have any? Okay. Do you have any evidence that... Okay, have a good day. <laughs> there is no Jesus or God. Get over it. It's not fucking That's real. Okay enough. That's okay, though. Hi, I'm Kira from Ireland. What's crack? What's your argument? What's your name? What is your argument, ma'am? Oh, wow. Straight to the point. Your name's Mike. Hi, Mike. Yeah, I'm got, Kira. That's the guest coming in. Hurry up. Wow, you're very impatient. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's part of, probably part of the problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, so God is imaginary. Okay, so I'm guessing you used to believe in God when you are younger. Ma'am, yeah? please give us your argument or go away. Oh, you just want an argument? Okay, then I have no time for you. Goodbye. Great. No evidence, no argument. You're done. <laughs> All you got to do is give an argument or go away. Which one? We care about facts here. I care about evidence. I don't have time for uh, stories. I want evidence. I care about the truth. There is evidence. Great. Where, where is it? What is it? Look at yourself. Look at yourself. I don't, where's God? Is you want to, you can do I don't see look God. At yourself. No, look at yourself. Okay, what about me? Okay, where do you think you come from? No, I'm dead serious. Uh, I'm dead serious. I come from a space Uber. Where do you, where do you, a where magic do, where cosmic space from? Uber lifted me off and dropped me here on the planet Earth. Okay, let's, let's, oh. talk, let's talk about something. Oh, sure. Sure. Let's talk about something if you want to talk scientifically. Sure. Okay, sure. Let's, let's, if you want to talk about scientifically. We evolved. The universe could have always existed in some state, and we have, we're part of a, some kind of cosmic evolution, and that's it. There does not have to be a god. So either give me evidence of a god or go away. Pick your... Choice. Pick one. The reason why saying me is not evidence is because I can be evidence of something natural, right? Just because I exist doesn't mean God made me. That's begging the question. We need more data. Thank you, Evelyn. Was that me and your mom last night? Is that the recording that you made? I think that was the recording, me and his mom. Hey. Hey, what do you got? I'm just saying, um, I know I probably won't be able to change your mind, but... Uh... <sighs> Eventually, every knee will bow to God. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to preach your garbage here. Either give me evidence of your magic fairy tale or go away. I'm just saying every knee, every no, knee will bow to God at the you're end. You're going to give me at evidence. End, we are in the No, you're not. I have, we have spent too much time listening to you people babbling about your God. It's time you give evidence. If you're taking it too far. You have destroyed too many people's lives for me to sit here and, and listen to that nonsense. It's time for the data. It's time for the evidence. Hello? Hello? What do you got? What's your argument? Uh, I think uh, God is the collective consciousness. Okay, what's your evidence of a collective consciousness? Like, do you know how, like, researchers, like, study, like, consciousness? Yeah. Or, 
I think God is uh, the consciousness that we all start off as. Okay, great. So what is your evidence of this God? Well, like when we start off in the womb, I believe like we are our experiences. So, like as we go through life, sir, our consciousness changes sir, please, based off please, our experiences. What is your evidence of conscious collective consciousness of garbage? Well, we all have like eyes and like ears, right? Not rocks. Rocks, rocks don't have eyes or ears. Keep tap a lapping, guys. Just get some more people in here. Have you ever watched the show Home Improvement? You yeah. What's your argument? The argument is the show home improvement. <laughs> oh man. Hi guy. Hey, what's your argument for God? The argument of God Almighty is, you know, the house that you be, you know, that you are sleeping in. Your own yeah. building. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? What? Do you, do you believe that, you know, the house that you are sleeping in is some someone else built for you? Yeah, somebody built my house, yeah. You built it by yourself, right? Yes, somebody built the house, sir. Now, what's your point? And my point, my point is that basically, how would you think that the universe will be built just like that? Not by a builder. Nobody built the universe with nails and wood, sir. This is no, a, it's not. Uh, this is a, no. This is a fallacy, sir. <laughs> this is a watchmaker fallacy. Stop. If I look at the rain clouds, if I see rain coming down from the sky, does that mean there's somebody in the clouds with a rain hose going shh, spraying down the water? But do you think that that it no, just no, coming no, like sir, that? The, 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 the rain the just pouring like that, sir, sir. Is there yeah. somebody in the clouds with a rain hose spraying down the water to make the rain come down? Yes or no, sir? I'll wait. Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. The point is that just because... We have instances of people building houses. Doesn't mean that somebody built the rain or volcanoes. Is there somebody in the volcanoes making the volcano come out, the magma come out? No, these are naturalistic things. So the universe could also be naturalistic. It does not have to be a builder. That's why that's a fallacy. Hey, what do you got for us today? Yo. Um, can you hear me? Unfortunately, what do you got? You can hear me? Hurry up, sir. Make your fucking argument. So, who probably does? Earthman. <laughs> well, who called you that? Bob the Earth Builder. Here I so, am. I'm gonna build the Earth now. So <laughs> the rope was just just <laughs> here. Oh, let's make the volcanoes. <laughs> All right, let's make the rainfalls. <laughs> no, nobody built the Earth. This isn't fucking like build a bear for the Earth planets. There is a natural reason why the Earth formed. It's called physics and gravity, not God. So okay. give a fucking argument for your magic man who died on a stake for no reason or go away. So how did the millions of planets, how did they all exist? Gravity and physics. That doesn't create it, though. I think it has to be created oh, by... Yes, it fucking does, sir. It's called matter. It's called rocks becoming larger rocks. Go learn how planetary disks form, sir. 
It's then, physics. Where did that come from then? It was perhaps always there. The universe and all the matter and energy could have always existed. You don't need God. Yeah, you pretty much do. You always need something for something. Oh, then who made God? He's a being, so nothing can create him. Oh, so everything needs a creator except for my God. So why can't I why can't I say the same thing for the universe? Why can't we just say the universe because is the universe creator? isn't an actual being or something that's powerful? Like it's just a it's what, just like it's, a walk a walk like what you said. It's an entity that could have always been existing. Yeah, but there always has to be something that had. I feel like you're a child, so I'm just gonna cut you off. But yeah, that's just ridiculous. Um, that's just begging the question. You're presupposing there has to be somebody. First of all, you're a big self because God is real. And you want to talk about kids, but look at you. <laughs> Aw, remember when I was a kid. Go do your homework, ma'am. <laughs> Go watch Barney. Hello? Yo, that's it. Okay. I love you. Hello? Good night, good night. Oh, so you huh? could give me um, um like your reasons why God Can you hear me? No, say it again. Could you give I'm imaginary? Sir, when you leave McDonald's, please um fix the Wi Fi. Get to a better connection, sir. <laughs> hey what do you got hey man um i swear i saw your like your live the other day and it said like you believed you're a christian <laughs> yeah it's called satire ever heard of it nah man you, you you believe in jesus man i know you do i know you do wait a minute i do believe in jesus oh my Deep god down good god made me in six days from clay the end times are near. We're all going to be dying and going up to the rapture to heaven and praise God forever like little slaves. No, I don't believe in God. But I shot. All right, one more guest. Everybody follow, please. Everybody here, follow TikTok. We got more debates and then follow my YouTube for more. I got a lot of stuff on YouTube. God? Is that you? Hello. I thought God was sending us a message. Okay. All right, what do you got? What's your, what's your evidence today? Um, I, I believe that there is something bigger than us. And for instance, like an there is something bigger. Yeah, like an elephant. I agree, like elephants. Bigger knowledge. Giraffes, elephants. Because the world is so accurate that there has to be something that's created it. And oh, you said accurate. That's a very peculiar word. What do you mean by accurate? What's an accurate universe look like versus an inaccurate universe? Because everything has to depend on each other. Like, for instance, the natural things, the air, the water, for it to, ex for it to exist properly. Just like a car, you have to, when you create a car, you have to put things in place, fuel, whether it's battery. Okay, I, I agree that the universe contains order in a way, in, sense, in a sense that things work together. I, I agree. But the problem here is you can't distinguish a universe that works accurately versus a universe that works inaccurately. You don't have a symmetry breaker between these two things. So all we have is one universe. We don't have another to compare this one to. So you can't assess if this one's accurate or inaccurate. You can't degree. You can't assess the degree to which it is inaccurate. If we only have one subject. So 
do you have any other data outside of our universe to say that this one's accurate versus some other universe or no? But we've seen this, uh, this universe. Have you seen another that is inaccurate? This is precisely the problem. You can't say that this is an accurate universe if we don't know what an inaccurate universe looks like. Okay, now, how do you say this one is... Uh, how do you say... So because you don't know there's one that is inaccurate, you can't say this one is accurate, but it works. It works perfectly for us to live in it. Oh, like cancer and starvation and heart disease and genetic disorders and gamma ray bursts, supernova explosions, extinctions. That's all perfect to you. Same way when you create a car, at times it fumbles if you fail to do certain things. Yeah. That's Don't you think design. so? That's a shitty design, right? So if your God exists, then what this means is that we live in a shitty design. Why would God make us have to wear glasses to fix our eyesight? That's stupid, right? Like, why do we have to wear glasses? Like, why the fuck do we have to have earring aids? Why did God make, like, our digestive system right near our fucking urine? Like, because in, it's like, his design. Why do we get infections, in, in, like, in our bladders and shit that can kill us? Like, that's stupid. You, you cannot tell him what to do. It's his design. Oh, can you? So how, how do you distinguish God's shitty design from a natural design or from a natural thing? How do you say it's not natural? No, you didn't, answer, you didn't understand what I said. You're saying that this is God's design and it is what it is. But how do we distinguish God's shit design from nature? What's the difference? What do you call nature? No agency, just 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 laws of physics and space and time, and that's it. But everything you are saying is still under his design. That's begging the question. How do you know that? <laughs> I, I don't know what else do you want me to say. I really don't know. Okay. All right. Uh... This guy looks legit. Uh, this guy's name is Connor. Let's see if, what he's got. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yep, what do you got? Uh, I, I think you really pose an interesting premise with the idea of God is imaginary. I mean, truly, like it's... Uh, Wow. Wait, so what's your argument today, sir? Is this like you're going to just ramble or are you going to give us an argument today? <laughs> That's fair. Um, I, give me just a sec. Take your time. I got till five. <laughs> Nine to five. I work by the hour. Is Is there a way to where the idea of God is more globally acceptable understandable through value base like and not just okay is it imaginary there's a lot of things that are just in our heads um how true does that feel to you versus like like a spiritual side of it not just like talking about the bible or different things on just like a part of being a human that makes you feel potentially connected to something I guess he wasn't legit. <laughs> I thought he was. Anyway, guys. Um, um, E.V. Taylor's version. Let's see if this person's legit. Please follow me, guys, if you want more debates. Hello? Okay. Well, anyway, um, I do vegan debates. Yeah, I do a lot of I do vegan debates and, and atheist debates and um, evolution, climate change, things that matter to me.
Um, I do science lives too. I post them up on YouTube. Watch Blitz if you want to see intellectual debates. Uh, I've I've literally interviewed Blitz on my channel. I've talked to Blitz. He literally agrees with everything I say, almost. Um, all right, let's see if this guy's good. His name is God's Knight. <laughs> God's Warrior. Hey, Mike. What do you got? Okay, I think uh, the difference we don't make here is uh, physics doesn't match very well with the philosophy. What I'm saying is explain God by physics. It's uh, not complete. But uh, if you bring philosophy into the, uh, into the matter, yes, make a lot of sense. On the way, then, uh, if you see uh, order in design, on creation. Okay, great. Okay. And then stop, 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 stop. Where is the evidence of design? Well, look around you. Everything there is order and design. Sir, I see lots of chaos. The universe is getting Why? More disorderly over time. The universe is not okay. The, the, first of all, just because there's order doesn't mean that God did it. Right, the order can be explained naturally. There are pockets of order, but the ocean, the the universe is an ocean of chaos, and it's getting more disorderly over time. But more importantly, what is the evidence that there's a, a conscious designer doing things and not just something natural? Thank you. Even even though if it's natural, for sure there is an order. That just for the sense, why your ear is not in your front head. Why your nose is not on the back of your head? Why your mouth is not on your belly? Because of natural why the because of natural selection, sir. We evolved to be this way because we were fit to our environments, and the ones who had the ears in the front, they they didn't survive, right? The ones who did it, the ones who had our type of features, survived better. Hence, they spread their genes and they live today. So that's the point. There's there's naturalistic reasons as to why we are this way. We never have to invoke a god. Selection design, as you say, is based on evolution. Natural selection is the mechanism of evolution. It's how it happens. Okay, so uh, based on what your knowledge about evolution, what can you say about uh, human evolution? Where we came from? What kind of uh, pre-made we came from? For console about 15 million years ago apes we are apes and we share ancestry with all the other apes and monkeys as well okay we you have what's your evidence for that do you have a, a middleman between apes and humans today no first of all we are apes but yes we do have species intermediate species like homo habilis erectus ergaster uh, australopithecus afarensis africanus we have all the different species. We know that there were multiple human species before us. And we know that they progressively got different and became us today. And we see the fossils, we have DNA evidence of this, we have lab experiments that prove this. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah. We, what you're saying is the different kind of uh, species, but not based on evolution. Evolution, it's like uh, when a monkey become a man, or either a fish become a bird? No, this isn't Pokemon, where you go from Charmander to Charizard. That's that's Pokemon evolution. When we're talking about evolution, we're talking about speciation through generations. Small incremental changes over vast lengths of time. That's how we evolve. It okay, let me... There's no, there's no let... human stone where you throw a stone at us and we become human. There's no such stone. It's called natural selection and chemical evolution. Mm -hmm. What well, you can explain about the mind? The mind seems to be the emergent property of the brain. Okay, you suppose that. 
That's what the evidence suggests. Do you have an alternative explanation that is better than that? That's why physics cannot explain the mind. Like physics cannot explain the emotions, love. They always gonna say it's a bunch it of reaction, absolutely. chemical reaction. It absolutely can't explain love. Love is love is an emergent process that is produced by the brain's chemistry, right? Neurochemistry, serotonin, dopamine. These are chemicals that are unleashed when you have certain thoughts or stimulated in certain ways, and they can make you feel certain emotions in the limbic system of the brain. We have reasons as to why we have love and emotions. It's not God. There's no magic wizard going, oh, let's make this fall, let's make these people fall in love. There's no such thing. It's natural selection, it's evolution, it's chemistry. Love is chemistry. All right, so there is a natural selection about love. If you are married with a woman and she's she's dying in cancer, so I can tell you. So, Mike, why don't you go get another woman to let just that woman die if it is a uh, natural selection? Why don't you go get it somebody else? Because if you love, there is nothing to do with emotion. It's just chemical reaction in your body. It doesn't matter if she's die or not. Okay. So, I know from your perspective, you're religious and you have no empathy or, or morality at all. But as an atheist... I don't look at chemistry and go, oh, I, I, I don't care about my wife because she's chemicals. I realize that, yes, even though my wife is chemicals, those chemicals are special. They can do special things. They can give us certain properties like love. So I value those chemicals. I like I value my chemicals. So just because you're religious and you can't understand basic science, does it mean there's no value in the world around you? Your value is based in what? And your moral values is based in what? Our minds. It, so that means each person, they have their own values because they have the reactions, chemical yes. reactions? Yes, everybody has different experiences and different love, different experiences. Okay, so if you say about love, we can talk about hate at the same time. So if I come somebody and just hit, hit the person and they say, why you hit me? I say, oh, it was just a chemical reaction. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was. Because if reaction. I have my own and, thoughts, and I have my and, own, uh, yeah. you know. This is a common, this is a common argument from the, from the theist. Oh, well, if we don't have free will, if we're just chemicals, why do we care, you know, what happens if somebody gets hurt. Absolutely. Well, the reason is, is because even though we are chemicals, we are the most immediate thing that the most, the most, the final product of these chemical reactions. And in our society, where we don't want people to hate or be bigoted or kill each other, we put them in prison because we don't want that to happen in society. Even if, whether or not they had, the, it's their fault or not, we don't want those actions to continue. So we punish them. Right? So free will is actually irrelevant here. We can act as if we have free will, even though we're determined. It, we're, it, there's no reason why we have to, you know, let Hitler reign and, and let, let murderers run, run around. We can still punish them, even if it wasn't their fault, because we don't want that to continue. We're determined to not want those things to continue. Okay, so... What's your evaluation about it to judge the person who just did? If he just reaction, chemical reaction on them, why are you blaming for his uh, attitude? Because he. What's put you in the position to judge the person if you have the same uh, chemical reaction? Yeah, the fact that th that person acted that way is a reason for me to not like that person, right? It's just a, it's just responses. We're just responding to each other as people in society. Now, I agree, Phys philosophically speaking, right, there's no objective good or bad. I agree. But within our societies, one in which we care about each other and we don't want to harm each other, well, we are determined to care about certain things. And if certain people defy those laws, then we punish them and we judge them. Yes, subjectively, but it doesn't matter because you do the same thing. You, just because you believe in God, doesn't mean that you have some objective authority that you get to judge with. All you have is a book of fairy tales.
So you can't really solve this. Okay, but if you say it's like uh, your moral, your morals, your values, you come to the point that to judge someone to say if his right is wrong, if it's only a matter reaction of chemicals in your body, how come you yeah. come to that point? You, it's a contradiction. This Chemical is, reaction doesn't care about it, what you feel, what you think. We do care. We do care. It's called empathy. And our brains evolve to have empathy for each other. That's why I care about not harming animals or not harming people. Because I, I have empathy for them. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. But thanks for coming up here. Let's see. Mm. I we got a lot of people in here. I guess they want to. I guess they like the the live today. Hello. Hey, what do you got? Hey, God is imaginary. Uh, burdens on you to prove that wrong. Sure. Which God do you believe in? Doesn't matter. Burdens yeah, on you. It does matter. When I say God's no, a matter, I, I mean specific gods, right? I can't debunk every god, but I can debunk certain um, gods. That just contradicts what you're saying. You said God is imaginary, right? God is, god is an ambiguous word. I'm asking you which god you believe in, so this way I can debunk it. So what happens after death? You rot away. You die. You don't come back. Okay, so what's the difference of doing good in the world and doing bad in the world? It's all subjective. What's your point, though? That doesn't answer. Yeah, that doesn't answer my question. So if one is to do bad in the world and one is to do good in the world, what's the difference? I, I think what's I good think is what is, I think I think what good is, is what progresses society, what gives us more rights, more values more abundance, more resources. That's what's good to me. So that's what's okay. good. So if everybody does bad in the world and then everybody does good in the world, let's say there's two worlds, everybody does bad in the world. And then the second world, everybody does good. What's the difference? The difference is the world where we do bad, we're not going to have progression. We're all going to have less rights and less freedoms. That's the problem. What's your point? Okay. So what's the punishment or what happens after death? Let's say you why, wait, wait, do, wait, wait, wait. Why, let's say you why? do good. No, let's no, say no, you no, do no, good. No, in no, the world. no, 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 no. I don't do good just because I fear and consequences. No. Um, I no, didn't no, say no. that. Okay. You're just, you're so, just assuming so I did I not say that. So then we don't need an afterlife at all to do good. Okay. You're doing good, right? You're a vegan. I think so. You're doing good. Yeah. Okay. To me. What happens after, you know, let's say, you know, I don't want, I'm not wishing upon this on you, but let's just say after you pass away in the future, what happens after? I Where die. are you going to be? I die, sir, okay. in the ground. Okay. So what happens after that? I rot away, sir. What's your point? And then, and then? Nothing. I die. What's your point? <laughs> Where's your point? That's what I'm trying to get. So what is the purpose of this life? That's my point. Your purpose is to make your own purpose, sir. What's your purpose with if there's a God to be a slave to your master, like a good little slave and, and, and worship your magic man forever? That's not purpose to me. You don't have purpose because you believe in God. You think you do. There's no evidence of a purpose, objectively speaking. There's no evidence, but is there no evidence yeah there's no evidence of a purpose objectively speaking all we so have you're saying there's all we, sir all so we you're have saying there's no hold on so you're saying there's no evidence whatsoever do you know what god is imaginary <laughs> no no that doesn't answer my question do you know what god is it's, no it's not real to me okay so you don't know what it is does that mean you're a hundred percent sure there's no god I'm 100% sure that gods that are illogical don't exist, but I can't say that for every god. What is your point, sir? Okay. 
So what happens after you pass away is what I'm getting at. In this world that we live in right now. What is your point? You go, this is very getting very aggravating. <laughs> What's your point? It's getting aggravating because you can't answer that question. I did four Do we times. Prove, are there, <laughs> did are there, times. are there creatures or animals or species in this world, in earth that we're living in currently right now that we currently discover every day of the, uh, every day? Yeah. Okay. So there's creatures that we live that were, that's on earth we're discovering every single day that we just discovered that have been living. And you're saying there's no God. I'm listen, I'm just trying to understand. You're laughing. Sir, why do you believe a magic man died on a stick for you? Why do you believe? Where is your evidence of your magic wizard? Because our brains have limits. Okay. Yeah, I can tell that. Now, can you give me evidence of your God or not? Which one, sir? Think forever. All right. Have a good day, buddy. May Spaghetti Monster bless you with lots of uh, meatballs and sauce when you die. Lots of meatball. Lots of meatball. Lots of spaghetti. Yo, can you hear me? Unfortunately. What do you got? Wait, why, why unfortunately, bro? I was just going to say it's nice to meet you, bro. How you doing, Mike? <laughs> Great. What's your argument? It's, it's the first time. It's the first time, uh, by the way, I joined the TikTok live and shit. So wait, can I cuss here? Congratulations. Want a cookie? <laughs> Bro, why you gotta be so like sarcastic and shit? Like why you gotta be so rude? No, nah, but listen, listen, bro. my God, uh, first of all, I just want to point out that I'm not, I, I'm just here to have a discussion, bro. Um, I'm from Saudi Arabia. I grew up Saudi. I grew up in a very, very religious environment. Uh, the God I believe in is Allah. And I'm, I'm just going to point out that I'm, I'm not, uh, what's it called? I'm not, I'm just here to have a discussion. Uh, I don't think I'm qualified enough to like completely convince you, but I'm just here to have a, com a discussion and I want to see your point of view, you know, that's all. So my God that I believe in is Allah and, um, so I want to see like why you think Allah is in real. Uh, let's take a look at the Quran. Um, sure, sure. Let's, um, let's Adam and Eve, not possible. Noah's Ark, not possible. Um, talking why, snakes, why not, do you possible. Think that's not possible. Um, uh, why do you think that's not possible? Uh, not possible. Um, sky falling from the uh, things falling from the sky, uh, not possible. Um, let's see, flying donkey to, to the moon, not possible. Moon it's not really a donkey, not it's, a, it's a mythical creature. Where right? do I begin? Sorry? Where's your uh, evidence of Noah's Ark and all this shit? Uh, well, th that happened centuries ago. Uh, I don't, there, there might not be tangible wait, evidence wait, right now. Wait, what? you're telling me that there is a big fucking boat where some old 900 year old guy took all the animals from the world, including penguins and dolphins and fucking yeah, because polar that's bears why and they shit. Miracles. <laughs> and that's he put them on the fucking miracles. ark and they that's sat there for 40 days okay, and okay, 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 okay. So you're bringing up points about other prophets. That's fine. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, Quran talks about a lot of stuff that we found or scientists found out about centuries later. I'll give you an example. I'm a geologist. I study geology, so I can speak to what I know about geology. The Quran talks about uh, when the seas, when the seas meet, two seas. Let's say Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. They meet. There's a barrier between them because that's how temperature and salinity is regulated. And it's literally written in the Quran that exact same thing, which scientists no, not only there, found there, out about. There, except there's like, no barrier. Years, there, there's no barrier between. There oceans. is. There is. It's called the divergent plate, a divergent boundary. 
Uh, I learned a, about not, it like literally a month. Sir, no, 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 no. Divergent boundaries are, in terms of plate tectonics, there is no border or barrier in the water that separates the oceans. That doesn't exist. There is. You can search about it. You what's it called? What's the barrier in the water? Uh. It's the one that separates, like, for example, you have, like, the oceanic crust. But l let's say, instead of that, do you agree that uh, iron, iron is not a natural sir, element? Right? Sir, it seems to me like you've taken maybe a few courses in geology, and you think that you are now a geologist. Are you actually a scientist? Uh, no, 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 I'm not a scientist. I, <laughs> okay. I told you I'm studying geology. <laughs> I never said okay, I was a geologist. Then, then, I told you're, you're, you're not geologist. A, then you're not a geologist, okay? Yeah, yeah. I never said so, I was a geologist. I said I was studying geology. You you literally said you were. Okay, it doesn't matter. The point is, there is no border in the water that separates the water. It, it doesn't exist. But more importantly, what you're referring to is um, something called a glacier melt where your glacier melt goes into the oceans and there for temporary moments there are temperature and salinity differences you're right and there's also bacteria and sediment that can get deposited into the water and it seems for some time that the water separates but that's actually not true what happens is um it's there's no barrier between the two it's just the color and temperature and salinity differences but all water does mix all yeah, water so you do agree about the general point the quran talks about it generally the fact that the quran actually pointed it out no, the, the is, quran is not the quran says something that's not true there is no barrier between waters and by the way the quran says mountains are pegs and that mountains never move that's false the quran likes to use a lot of me me metaphors like not everything oh. because like let's say let's say the most basic metaphor one. that's I, what I, you're I'm calling falsehood now okay yeah yeah like when you when it says humans are made out of clay we're not made out of clay everyone knows that like but it's a general oh. metaphor because it's okay. the color of our skin like what, what's brown. the metaphor for like what is it for when when it talks about mountains are pigs i've never read that before i've read the quran maybe around 30 times uh, I okay, haven't. Maybe I haven't you should read that. it thirty-one times because a lot of it is nonsense. Um, You'd have to refer to a specific surah or a chapter. Sure. Uh, for me to evaluate that statement. Um, Eighty-one two, where it talks about stars falling from the sky. That's not possible. Sixteen sixty-six, cow's milk is pure. It's not true. Uh, Sixteen sixty-seven, where it says, uh, um, you know, stars can fall from the sky, or that. Uh, Maybe the stars good. are meant as meteor, meteorites, which is another point. Uh, the Quran talks about iron and in that basically Allah said that we gave iron to humanity with all of its benefits, uh, which is true because iron is not a natural element and it did fall from meteors. So like, no, and, so iron does not come from the sky. Iron comes from the earth. Very little of it comes from the sky or comes from space at all. But more no, importantly, I'm, that I'm verse is sure most the, context, the, meteors. the context of that verse is referring to like swords, referring to like iron in the sense of like swords, not in the sense of like iron from meteorites. To make that like claim is a big fucking stretch. Um, well, okay, if that if that's how you view it, then sure. Uh, I, I'm just telling you, bro. Uh, I, I don't think I'm a scholar. Uh, I can just speak to what I think. Mean. Scholar. Yeah. So, Sorry. I, I would suggest you come back when you have more like data, and like you know a better argument because what you just presented today is really sad. Um. One last guest. I'm really tired, guys. Thank you for all the gifts. Really appreciate that. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. What? Well, first off, I'd like to say that um, your mind is already made up. Like, even when you do get all of the evidence and the facts. Sir, and, do you have an argument for God or no? Yeah, that, that you're going to die and you have no control of that. You don't know what's going to happen after you die. You came from the womb of a woman. You're going to be sent back to the womb of some other creature because you're stuck in the cycle of samsara, birth and sure. death. Do you, have, do you have any evidence of your God? 
Sanskrit is the oldest language. It talks about Krishna, Rama, all the pastimes. And this is a problem when you come, when, sure. like when the last speaker was saying about mythology. Yep, I pretty much had enough of today. Um, that was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Um, I'm really tired, guys. I wasn't supposed to be here this long. But I had to do it because I had lots of people watching. Um, everybody here, follow my YouTube. Link in my bio. Also, get my book. It talks about my story if you want to know more about me, right? My story, arguments for God, right? purpose, meaning, morality, get my book. It's a, it's a good, it's a good read. If you're curious, if you, if you have the courage to, to question link in my bio, if you want a signed copy, let me know. I can give you a signed copy. Just DM me first. Um, and follow my YouTube too. I've got lots of content on YouTube. So thank you guys for being here.